Hi guys! Welcome to my channel, Stories of Mama Naini. So, kanina nga, binuksan ko lang nga. Hindi ko pa alam ko anong nasa loob. I actually received a parcel from a good friend, a very, very good friend, very old friend na rin. Um, in fact, ninang na siya ng eldest son ko. Um, this one came from Iligan, from my friend Lenny. Um, it says dito, do not drop perishable. Ayan ah. So that means something, pag perishable, ibig sabihin food. Hmm, diba? Usually, very very, ano talaga si Lenny, thoughtful and generous. Ganun. Um, nagpapasurprise siyang nagpapadala ng anything dito. Actually, I wanted to send her something kaso sometimes I don't know if she's in that place or in a different place. But anyway, I'm gonna return the favor soon. But for now, let's open and see what's inside. Sana kayo rin, meron kayong friend na ganun. Yung, yung, may mga pa surprise surprise, di ba? Na maganda yun sa loob. Yung parang, ah, somebody's thinking about me, somebody thought of me, yung mga ganun. Okay. okay. From Iligan, alam ko, familiar kayo dito. Chedengs, toasted peanuts. Ayan, 1 kilo. O, oh, pag-isip tayo kung anong gagawin natin sa 1 kilo. Ayan. Matagal pa expiration nito eh. April 22. So, ayan, may mga more than 1 month pa akong <coughs> uh, makonsume ito. Tamang-tama parating si na mama. They can also have this. And then, there's sugar-coated peanuts from Chedengs as well. Ayan, April din. Dalawa. Ayan. Oh, ang dami. And then, ito yata yung cost na bakit hindi siya pwedeng mabagsak. Do not drop. Naka ano kayo? Eh, naka wrap. Ooh. Parang may bote. Oh. May bote. Ano kaya to? Ito mga in-expect ko nang dadating to eh. Pagka, pagka nagpapadala siya. Pero ito nasan, hindi ko alam kung anong meron. Thank you, thank you, Lenny. <coughs> Excuse me naman. Hindi maganda pakiramdam ko for the past few days. Ooh, what is this? Kano bang chiden sa ano? Iligal niya. Alam niyo bang lagi ako nakakatikim nito? Because binibigyan niya ako. Hindi ko tuloy alam kung magkano yan siya. Hala! What is this? Lolits da yok all around. Saw sawan. Best tuna intestine. Hala! Maanghang to! Hot and spicy! Oh my gosh! Mapapalaban tayo sa anghang nito guys. Hala, grabe yung tingnan niyo yung laman. My goodness. Oh, may expiration ba to? Shake well before using. Wala namang nakalagay yung expiration. Anak ko. Oh. Laban guys, laban. <laughs> may nakikita pa akong isa dito eh. Then there's one more. One is tadan tadan tadan. Special palapa. Ano yung palapa? Iligans pa sa lubong. Palapa is. Ano ba ang palapa? Para na blur. Ano ba ang palapa? Consume in 14 days after opening. Appetizer for all seasons. It's spicy sauce and as a garnish to add more flavor to your cooked food. Try it with lechon. Ooh! Barbecue. Uh grilled and roasted fish and seafood. Oh, ingredients. Ito pala eh. 
ingredients um shallots salt pepper chili ginger garlic vegetable oil ah so parang spices talaga siya na parang pinaghalo tapos yan Ooh, this is something new to me parang ito alam alam ko yung may mga ganito ito hindi ko pa nasubukan yung ganito thank you so much nen o diba ayan lagay ko dito ah para makita nyo ito <clears throat> O, diba? Ang dami. Ayan. So, guys. Ayan. Hindi ko pa bubuksan kasi medyo, medyo hindi maganda pakiramdam ko. I cannot eat peanuts yet. So, what are we going to talk about today is um, how, how, how Lenny and I became friends. We actually went to the same university sa college. Uh, we went, I mean, we stayed in the same dormitory, same cottage in Siliman University. Um, and the cottage was Azucena Cottage. So, um, we also went to the same, we also took the same course, mass communication. And then, um, in Cebu, after, after, after college, we went to Cebu to work. And then, almost at the same time, I stopped working. I quit, and then Shadin. And then we both decided to go to Singapore. So we worked there. Ako, I worked there for four years. We stayed together for four years. And then after that, she stayed until until this year yata. Uh, so that would be around, ano ba? 15 years? Huh? Eight. 15 years na so uh, okay <laughs> ang tagal na niya dun and she's been a very very good friend na sabi ko nga kanina naging ninang pa siya ng, ng anak ko she's also um, she's also close to my family my aunt so when, when she's in Australia she sees my aunt in Australia and uh, from time to time uh, one time bumisita na siya dito kasi malayo ang iligan sa Davao and if there's only yung ano airplane na one ride lang papunta doon madaling pumunta kaso wala pong ano plane na papunta doon na ano Lenny and I when we were in Singapore Lenny and I went to the same church yun yung um, Every Nation Church Singapore ENCS um nag i din siya, nag i din ako, hindi lang kami classmate yata, oh, hindi kami naging kabatch. So, all throughout, all throughout those years, from, ano ba, 2000, 2000, from year 2000 ko siyang nakilala, up to present friend pa rin kami. 2000, my goodness, 23 years na kaming friends. So there are a lot of memories. There are a lot of memories that I can think of. Siguro mas marami if, if I stayed longer sa Singapore. But I had to come home. But um, I cherish I cherish the friendship. Kasi nga, kunyari ganito, uh, kahit nasa malayo na kami, tsaka kas, kahit na may mga edad na, o hindi pa naman masyadong may edad, diba? Pero the, the, the thought is still there. The care is still there. And from time to time, I would check on her. Uh, minsan, <clears throat> minsan nag-reach out din ako sa, sa mama niya, kay mamang at kay papang, nangangamusta sana nga madaling ano, bumisita dun, but um, considering tong mga challenges ko as of now na meron akong bulilit hindi ako agad-agad nakakaalis ng, ng nanggustuhin ko man pumasyal or bumisita sa mga lugar, hindi ko nagagawa but you no, know, there will always be Chances, there will always be time for this. Siguro not for now, but soon, definitely. Kasi parang, uh, she's a friend for tips, for life. Oh, gusto ko maiyak. <laughs> Sana meron kayong mga ganong friends din. Ako, I, I have more pa. I have more. Um, most of them actually were from my university days. Mas, mas marami akong na-cherish na friends from university days and Singapore days. Kasi uh, more, ano siya, more, hindi lang sila yung parang friend na after classes. There were 
there were workshops, there were trainings, there were uh, team buildings, there were events, um, fellowships na nangyari. So, hindi lang sila basta acquaintances. They were, ano, parang I treat them more like sisters. Kasi sa university namin, yung dorm, meron kaming mga small C's and big C's. So, from there, ayun, na-develop yung friendship uh, up until naging adults na talaga kami. Then, when we went to Singapore, I, we also had this group of friends called Life Group. Uh, kasama namin sila sa church. Um, since kami-kami lang din yung nandun sa, sa group na yon in that country. So, we, we spend time most of the time together especially on our day off yung mga ganun so kapag nagiging adults na pala tayo naiisip talaga natin no um um do we have a lot of friends do we have good friends close friends best friends yung mga ganung bagay ako i wouldn't say i had a lot um there's only a few kasi hindi ako madaling nakikipagkaibigan saka parang meron akong ano parang aura na hindi madaling kaibiganin pero that's not true siguro ano lang I'm just quiet and an introvert so at this age I would say hindi man ako nakagather ng maraming friends I gathered very genuine friends you would rather prefer na meron kang genuine friends na mabibilang mo kesa sa marami nga pero ala namang genuine dun mm, diba? So that's it for now, guys. Just a little chit chat. Uh, I'm thankful for a friend like Lenny. Oh, I'm hoping you could also find a friend like Lenny. See you guys on my next vlog. Thank you for staying and watching.